Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's snowing outside today where I'm at. Is it snowing where you're at? I thought we might have a little snow day. So I'm going to show you how to make my most recent snowman craft. I'm big into snowmen and I decorate with snowmen after Christmas and so I had promised you a tour to see my snowman collection and I thought what better way to kick it off than to make our very own snowman. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made this cute little guy. This is what I'll be starting with today. My husband does woodworking and he was able to craft this for me. And so I'll put it in the description box below exactly what he used and what he did. So the first thing that you wanna do is to put a coat of black all over the front. So I'm gonna be using just apple barrel black and I would suggest a matte finish. And I'm just using a simple soft bristle brush and I'm gonna coat it all in black. The top is the hat and that's where I'm starting. And I don't paint the back, but you could if you were going to display it somewhere where both sides were showing, but I don't see the need because I'm not going to. My snowman's all dry. So uh, the next step that I'm gonna do is put the snow on him. So you wanna make sure you don't paint the hat white. So you'll start with his little face and go on down. So my technique for this and in case you're wondering why I painted it black, is I like the distressed look. So I like to just kind of dry brush some white paint over the snowman, and then um, the black will show through. So I'm just using a white acrylic paint matte finish, and I've chosen a brush that's a little bit stiffer, and you could use a stencil brush, that's what I usually use but I wanted to um, have a little more flexibility to get into the edges. You want to have a paper towel handy or a napkin to blot on. So I'm getting a little bit of paint and just kind of dabbing on there so it doesn't get too blobby. And then you just want to, I, I try to do like a little bit here and there and then that gets some of the paint off. Oh, I love this brush. It works perfect for the look I'm going for. And I can get right up to the edges with it. See how it's kind of laying off on the edges too? Oh, I love that look. Okay, so you just dab it on, dab it off, and gently brush over it. It also picks up the texture of the wood. Now, if you don't like this look and you'd rather he be all white, you can just skip the first step and you can just paint him a nice coat of white. It's all in what you like. I have all my white paint on the little guy. So here's how it turned out. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little red heart that I painted. I bought these at the craft store in a package of maybe 20 and I just painted it red and I'm just going to put a dab of glue right in the center on the back of the heart and then I'm going to put it a little bit sideways and just press down so there's how that looks Next, I'm going to use these little buttons that I purchased. These are called furniture buttons. They're 3 8 inch and they came 100 pieces in the bag. You can get those at the craft store as well. So I just painted those black and I'm going to center them on the second and third block. So again, just a little dab of blue, glue on the back. Center it right in the middle and right in the middle there. Now if you have some cute buttons that you like, you can actually use those as well. So this is how he's shaping up. Next, I have a pair of old flannel pajama bottoms that were my mom's and I thought these looked kind of cool. The material looked kind of cool for a scarf. 
So whatever you have around the house you can use. If you don't have anything, you can buy some flannel. And I just cut a strip. Um, it's not cut perfect. It's kind of hard to cut because it was off the leg. <laughs> but I'm just going to tie it around the neck of the snowman. And just tie it in a single tie. I didn't knot it or anything. And this is how it looks. And I'm just going to trim it off so that it's even. So there's the little scarf. And the only thing left we have to do is his eyes. So I'm just going to use a little bit of paint out of the lid. I've had this in my craft supplies for years. I don't know what you call it, but it's just a... Um, little bead on, of steel on the end of this. Maybe a stylus, but I'm not sure. Um, if you don't have one of these and you don't want to get one, um, you can use the end of a paintbrush. Just make sure you find an appropriate size and then just dip it in the paint and dip it right on where you want to make the eyes. If you've never done it before, just practice on a paper towel. This makes it easier to control the dot and you can make it bigger if you want. So I'm gonna, ju I'm gonna just dip in the paint and center his, his little eyes. And just make two little round equal dots. Okay, this snowman didn't have a nose when I saw it online or a mouth and I just kinda like the simplicity of it. But if you want to, you can certainly add what, whatever you like. So there's what he looks like. You can let me know in the comments below if you think that's something you would try and what you think of him. As promised, I'm going to show you my snowman. I'm starting the tour in my dining room and this is my jelly cupboard. There's a little snowman hanging here. I love him. So up top, I don't know where I got this guy from, but I've had him for years. And then I've been really interested in old candlesticks this year. These are a couple I inherited from my mother-in-law. This I got at a garage sale or flea market, something like that, probably for a dollar or less. Thought that was really cute. This item here was my mother-in-law's. And then this one was a craft I made a few years ago. So there's a simple face that you could do on the snowman I just showed you if you wanted the full face. Next I'm going to show you this little corner in my dining room. I have a clock that my husband got me and it has wooden shelves. This item was from my mom, and this little plate and cup was mine when I was a little girl. And I have a set of three snowmen ornaments that I thrifted. I did put them on my tree, but there's where they ended up now. Well, there's where he ended up now, and I'll show you the other two in a minute. <laughs> I love old clocks, so I decorate with those everywhere in my home. And I got some bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree there. Another old clock and a bottle brush tree, probably from Michael's. And then here's my two-tiered tray that I thrifted. Uh, this little candle here, well, it's not real little, but it's from years ago. And then I have a set of three of these that I got at an antique store. And they do light up. There's another one of the trio of the snowman ornaments. Some more bottle brush trees. And then the third of the snowman ornaments. This is a free printable I got online. Just put it in a regular frame. And then this candy dish is special to me. It was my grandma's. And I got these at uh, Michael's on clearance. They're probably for crafting or little villages, and I thought they just looked cute in that candy dish. Because, you know, I don't want to be eating any candy. <laughs> so 
second shelf, I have a lantern. That was my mother-in-law's. I love that color for this time of year and for Christmas. And then this was my mom's milk glass cake plate. And I do use it for cakes, but I also use it for displays. And then this item I got at a rummage sale for 50 cents, but I just have some bottle brush trees in there. Very simple. And then this guy my husband got me for a gift. I think we were at a craft show. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I have three of the snowmen waiting to be sold. And I just thought they looked cute there. I didn't want them to get messed up or anything. So that's where I put them. I like to decorate on the top of my microwave, which is also in my dining room. I have my current favorite Yankee candle, and it's uh, Alpine Mint. It's almost gone. This little guy is a teapot that I received in a gift exchange. It was one of those um, white elephant ones where you people bring in their junk, and I thought he was just adorable. The head lifts off. And then this is from, hmm, let me see. Oh, there goes the candle out of it. It's from Party Light. I had looked earlier and I couldn't come up with the name to save my life. Up above here I have this sign, Love Rules. Um, I will be using that all through Valentine's and maybe a little bit after. But that's just a little sneak peek. Oops, you can't read it all. Remember why you fell in love and live happily ever after. Moving into my living room now, I want to show you our mantle. This year I went for a real pretty wintry look. Um, I didn't add a lot of snowmen in here, but I'm really into the candlesticks like I mentioned. And this picture was from my mother-in-law. And if you saw my Christmas home tour, I had it decorated with some red poinsettias. And so I just added in some white roses for the winter and then um, some hind cones that have snow brushed on them. And then I have a little Target dollar spot house and then a little bottle brush tree. And this was something that I got at a garage sale. So I do have the little snowmen thrown in there. I thought they looked cute by the house. You probably saw this wreath already. I had that up at Christmas as well. That was my super duper deal at Target on clearance after Christmas one year. And then I showed you this little church in a live. I love it. I got that at Michael's on a clearance. And then here's the second of my little trees that light up. And then this little cake stand is from uh, Hobby Lobby. When I got that candle years ago, I think it looks really cool. I like the silver and the gold together. It looks wintery to me. And then there's a couple more candlesticks with just plain white tapers from my mother-in-law. Moving down to the garland here. I have had this for years. I don't know where I got it, but um, it's definitely very wintry looking to me. Give you a full look at that. And then this is the craft that my husband and I make. I showed you that before, but if you missed that, the other side is a scarecrow. So I just uh, keep him up from fall, clear through the winter. There's a snowman side. I have him sitting on a little bench my husband made me. Over here is my Coca-Cola crate that I had on my coffee table for Christmas, and I just flipped that on its end. My husband got me this cutie pie at a craft show. And then I just have an old uh, box there, cardboard box with snowmen on and that snowman. Don't remember where I got him. I kept my lantern out on a little red stool. That was my mother-in-law's. That'll be nice for Valentine's Day, the red. And then this was made for me. Actually, this was a gift from my mother-in-law years ago. She probably got it at a craft fair. And then I have my mother-in-law's old sled in the corner there. 
still in my living room. This is our armoire that houses a TV for our Wii system. I picked this up uh, before Christmas and just loved it so much I wanted to keep it out. I thought it looked wintery. And then there's a snowman that my mother-in-law got for me. I think it's got a roll of toilet paper in it. Somebody crafted that. And then this was a gift from somebody that my husband works with. She hand painted that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a wooden plate. I love the little cheeks on the snowman. <laughs> Adorable. There's a little place I decorate. At the bottom of my steps, it's got cookbooks in. And this mirror, I repainted. It was a mess. I found it at my mother-in-law's in her garage and then gave it a little makeover. And then I had that basket there with Christmas decorations in and I just swapped out that for some pine cones with snow, a couple books. And then my dad just gave me this truck it's from Cracker Barrel and I love it and I wanted to keep that out for a little while yet. This may very well be my very favorite decoration this year. <laughs> I decorate it for different seasons and I kept the greenery in from Christmas with the pine cones, added some more pine cones with the snow. I love that silvery stuff. It reminds me of winter still. And then this little guy I got on clearance at Michael's because he didn't have a nose. He was so cheap. And if you can see, I just took a orange uh, party toothpick and glued it in there and it worked perfect. I love his little earmuffs because I always have to wear earmuffs. The last area I'm gonna show you is my hutch. I almost forgot. <laughs> I still have my pink bottle brush tree on top of my truck. I'm just in love with it and I'm just keeping it up. I'm going to keep it up for Valentine's Day. And my thermoses and my red and then I just added in this little snowman. I think I got that like at a second hand store and it says I love frosty nights. I just love him. And then did you see the video where I found this silver plated or silver bowl? I don't know which. It's an Oneida bowl. I just put my snowman candle in there. And then I got that little lantern thrifting. And this is another one of my little snowmen. And also, if you look up top, hanging on my handles of my hutch, there's those little snowman ornaments that I made myself out of wood slices. That wraps up my little snowman tour and my little snowman craft. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. And be watching my channel. I'm going to be on a lot of collabs coming up. I have one coming up Saturday. It's an organizational DIY challenge. And I think that's the first time I've ever combined the two. I like organization and I like DIY, but I don't know that I've ever combined the two together. So be watching for that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Also, I love your comments, so please put a comment below and I'll love to interact with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I hope you had a fun snow day with me. And if you're in a cold climate, oh my goodness. I hope you're warm and cozy if you're in a cold climate like I am. Thanks for watching. No, no, not yet.